I think this might be the biggest understatement, but it's been a long, hard year for just about everyone. Yeah, and now the Allegheny Conference hopes a new public service campaign will help our region fight and eventually recover from the pandemic. So joining us live here on PTL from Argo AI is Argo AI founder and CEO Brian Seleski. And Brian, you also serve as the chair of the Greater Pittsburgh Chamber of Commerce. So start off by telling us about the Proud to Protect Pittsburgh campaign. What's this all about? Happy to. Thanks for having me this morning. Uh, we started the campaign because really, um, I think a lot of people know this, but uh, the statistics are not good. Heading into December, the daily new COVID cases in our region has been up 85%. And so while there's a lot of hope and a lot of things to be grateful for, given that the vaccine is just around the corner, we want to remind everybody that the population won't be fully vaccinated until probably toward the end of next year. And so we really can't let our guard down. We have to be wearing a mask. We have to social distance. We have to continue to follow the rules um, while we're working through that huge process. Um, and the campaign is about making sure everybody has, has hope and optimism and knowing that we are just about to get to the other side of this. And if we follow the rules though, um, we can also still support our small businesses. We can still be in the community playing it safe um, and, and uh, help our small businesses get through it to the other side. Um, you know, despite the, the stimulus, um, a lot of small businesses are obviously been hit really hard, our restaurants, bars. Um, so we're, we're saying, look, if you follow the rules, get out there, get some takeout, buy gift cards, shop local and, and help your community so that we can get to the other side of this and have Pittsburgh still look like Pittsburgh. You know, I don't know if you consider uh, Argo AI to be a small business anymore, but as part of your other position um, with the Chamber of Commerce, this has to be really hard to hear from some of the business owners and what they've been going through. I mean, even even thinking about restaurants, takeout, some owners have said it, it's not enough to keep us viable for long. So how do you deal with all of that hardship that you're hearing? Yeah, it's really hard to hear. And it's what's really hard to hear is when you hear statistics like 30% of our uh, of our local businesses could may not make it next year. Um, and so the, the best thing that we can do is to remember that the enemy here is the virus. The virus is the thing we have to get under control. So, you know, wearing a mask is not a political thing. Follow the rules and get out there and help these folks out mm -hmm. by local. That's that's really the plea. And, um, you know, there's ways to do this and still respect our frontline workers. Um, and and I think that um, I think that the, the important message this holiday season is to just keep helping out uh, your Main Street. And Brian, you're not alone in this campaign. Tell us who else is involved in this, because I really think it's important as a, as a region for us to all realize, you know, people are just tired of living through this. And what you said, if we can just stick with it a little bit longer, it, it's an important message for people to hear right now. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we, we have had a really huge groundswell of support with all of our local universities, the foundations, uh, Giant Eagle uh, helped out, uh, Eaton Park's part of this. Um, and the entire Allegheny Conference has really supported this message. Uh, Franco was, uh, it, there's a video on proudtoprotectpittsburgh.com. You're showing some of the footage. Franco was out there helping to inspire everyone. And really this is about being a good neighbor. It's about helping one another out and uh, just hope that everybody gets out there and does it safely. It's a really important message, really. Yeah. Yeah, Brian, it has been tough times for so many. I think we can all agree we want to get back to normal as soon as possible. And thank you, Brian, for talking with us and for what you're doing as well. Thank you. It's a lot of work ahead of them. Yeah. yeah. And we will have more on all of this on our Pittsburgh Today Live website. So be sure to check that out if you want to learn more.